vSphere 7.0 introduces support for the use of clustered VMDKs for Windows Server Failover Clustering, or WSFC. Using VMDKs reduces extra overhead when managing virtual disks. Microsoft Clustering Service uses SCSI 3 PRS commands to coordinate access to a clustered disk resource. These commands, PRIN and PROUT, are emulated at the vSCSI layer on a data store. A data store configured to host clustered VMDKs is referred to as a clustered VMDK data store. You can enable clustered VMDK support when you create a new VMFS6 and later data store or enable clustered VMDK on an existing VMFS6 data store. Clustered VMDK is a data store feature that should be explicitly enabled before you can use clustered VMDK in a VM. Before enabling clustered VMDK support, ensure all hosts connected to the data store are using ESXi 7.0 or later and are managed by vCenter 7.0 or later. All hosts connected to the data store must be managed by the same vCenter. You can have a maximum number of five VMs in a single WSFC cluster. You can have a maximum number of three WSFC clusters multi-cluster, running on the same set of ESXi hosts. You can have a maximum number of 128 clustered VMDKs per ESXi host. Here are some important requirements for clustered VMDKs with WSFC. You must set the Windows cluster parameter quorum arbitration time max to 60. The physical disk that virtual disks are stored on must support ATS SCSI commands. The physical disk must support SCSI 3 persistent reservations, specifically write exclusive all registrants or where type reservations. A data store must be accessible using fiber channel storage access protocol. To learn more about clustered VMDK enablement, limitations, and requirements, see Setup for Windows Server Failover Clustering at docs.vmware.com.